Hello, guys. Good morning. Thanks very much for joining this webinar today. I'd like to share with you a real story that happened in Australia. You know, Australia is a country on the brink of a water crisis and is struggling with a massive labor shortage. Farming is still the biggest usage of Australia's water supply, nearly seventy percent. Half of Australia's agricultural profits comes from irrigated farming. So this led to more efficient irrigation schemes. In our customers' farmland, the water control gates and valves openings were manually operated, which creates not only the labor, vehicle, power cords, but also the underwater application rates. The plants were monitored in person to determine the best time to irrigate, which creates labor costs as well. And besides that, you know, the machine-to-machine -machine connectivity has always been an issue for the rural areas. So our customer is looking for a new solution to reduce the water waste, reduce the labor cost, and improve the efficiency. The first technology jumped to our mind is Lola. So we take use of the Lola One-based sensors, controllers, and gateway to build up this automation monitoring system. In this irrigated agriculture application, the field size is 540 hectares. It's divided into many hectare bays, and every day there is more than 100 megaliters of flow rates on the controlled surface irrigation. And here I prepared a topographic diagram. The traditional submersible field road level sensor was integrated, was integrated into the Lola One-based seasonal system. This system can work as a sensor for soil moisture, temperature, and humidity, and also works as an actuator or a valve to regulate the drip irrigation. So the sensors in the field communicate to the remote monitoring center through the mile-side Lolowan gateway. Once the gateway receives data from the irrigation nodes, it's passed to the ChopStack network server through the cellular network and then forwarded by MQTT protocol to the AWS IoT platform, where the monitoring center is hosted for farmer access by the both web and mobile app. And in the monitoring center, we pre-configure it to make automatic decisions based on water level sensor to open or close the huge water gates. The water gate controller is also Lola one based it controls water from 5 megaliters to over 300 megaliters flow rates. And the Lola One network is dynamically designed. So when changes happen in the network, sensor nodes are able to reorganize by themselves. And water level sensors are deployed into base, into water supply channels. Sensors send water level data back to the remote monitoring center. Then, according to the pre configurations, the efficient and effective water control is provided through the wireless communication, Lola One, between sensors and the remote center. And finally, this project becomes part of the Australian government Smart Irrigation for Profit Phase 2. We are trying the use of Lola based automation in layout and working with LOLA-enabled sensors, gateways, to work out the best time to irrigate. The automation plays a very big role in that. I think there are different levels of automation that farmers go after. The basic automation just help farmers to leverage their stuff, their hours, and then it moves right up to the full automation, where people are controlling their irrigation from wherever they are and getting feedback from sensors and knowing exactly what's going on their farmlands. You know, farmers are really busy and they need access into the information to make decisions quickly because they have got a ton of other stuff to deal with. And during the Millennium Drought, Australian government released uh, uh, the water restrictions, which resulted in cotton production quoted, meat production halved, and rice farming stopped almost entirely. So 
the Lola technology can be applied to the smart agriculture to reduce water waste and improve the productivity, and finally eliminate hunger. So thanks very much for listening to me. See you next time. Bye.